Oh, my goodness. AMD Radeon Crimson Edition drivers continue quality improvements. I don't want to say you're being a little cruel there, Ryan, but that's 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 damning with faint praise or praising with faint damning. I mean, it's it's are you essentially saying they suck less than they did not too long ago? I, I prefer I prefer the latter of those two options, right? Uh, that, right? That you put out there, right? So it's praise with faint damning. Um, That's the one. It is. It's so uh, you know AMD kind of went out to some media people with this presentation, and they wanted to talk about, hey, um, we're really proud of what we've done on the driver side, and we want you to tell that story, and we think it's compelling. And I listened to them, and, and I agree a lot with a lot of stuff that they're doing. Um, the uh, this started really a year plus ago when they released the Catalyst Omega driver. It was like this 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 platform driver that came out. It had all these changes, had all these performance improvements. It had a bunch of feature additions, um, kind of, uh, you know, it looked the same at the time, but it was like, this is our starting point. And right. the problem was then, and we talked about it at the time, was that they really only planned like one thing per year, one major release per year, and they were going to have these kind of iterations throughout. Um, the problem after Omega was we didn't see the iterations that they kind of promised. And that kind of picked up towards the end of 2015 where they started releasing more drivers. Uh, and then in this first quarter, 2016, they released more drivers uh, than they had ever in the past, right? So they released seven drivers in 2016 already. That includes like hot fixes or, you know, game specific releases or Wickle drivers. Uh, they released three Wickle certified drivers, which is the Windows uh, Hardware Quality Labs. I think that's right, yeah. Um, uh, which is basically it goes through like a Microsoft certification process. Uh, they did three in this quarter. Last quarter or last year during the same quarter, they released zero. And they only had two drivers in total, right? So they're iterating more frequently. They're adding features. They released the Crimson Edition uh, last November, I guess it was, which is like a total revamp of how it looks. It's much faster. It's prettier. It actually is more functional. Mm -hmm. They've done a whole lot of stuff to improve their perception in the community, right? Like, that's that's what really matters, right? Is is any one driver can be good or bad, right? You, right. Nvidia will release a driver and it can be crappy. They can release a driver and it'll be great. And same for AMD. The what you have to change is the perception that your drivers are consistently good and consistently timely, because that's what a, uh, a consumer and enthusiast is going to base their purchasing decision on, not well, one single that's driver. The, that's the standard that has been set by Nvidia. I mean, let's yeah. let's just call that out. And they they need to be. Uh, and, and it's hard to change the perception. When you've, if you've had a few stumbles, if there's been complications, if there's been issues, then you have to work 80 times as hard to get the, the reputation for delivering solid, timely, useful yep. driver updates. So, I, 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 when, I was, when I was having this conversation with AMD, because you know, they, they saw the story and they, and they, you know, they wanted it to be more positive than, than the writing turned out to be. They wanted they, the story they wanted to tell is, look, we're better than NVIDIA now. See, here's our right. proof. And I said that that argument can work on a hardware release. You can you can release uh, uh, you can have you can be behind. You can be in second place on a Tuesday with your Radeon GPUs. And on Wednesday, you can release a whole new series and be in first place. Right. You can you can win in performance. You can win in value. Right. Boom. Those are hard lines you can cross with software it's more of a how have you been doing over a recent period of time or a long period of time right like it is it is sustained excellence it's not something you can just flip a switch overnight and say oh look we have a good driver now it has to be we have a history of good drivers with good features uh timeliness you know solid game release windows all that type of stuff and i said they're doing the right things and i you know, I don't want them to, to like be discouraged that people aren't accepting of, of what they're doing. It's just keep doing what you're doing and eventually people will notice. I think this summer we'll have mm -hmm. the perfect combination of reasons to find this out. Pascal will be released. Polaris will be released. Everybody has new graphics cards. Everybody's going to have, there's going to be tons of new PC games. And it's, it's the exact window of opportunity for AMD to consistently prove that their drivers are, you know, stable, timely, uh, you know, crossfire supported, all those things that need to happen for a driver to be considered a good driver. Um, and, they, and like I said, they'll have every opportunity throughout the rest of this year to really dive into that and home in on it. And if NVIDIA has more slip ups and, and, and falls behind in performance or releases or, you know, stability, then you start to talk about has AMD surpassed it. But I don't I don't think we're there yet, uh, but they're on the right path. And that's kind of what I wanted to get across with the story. Not that 
um, they're slight, they're they're less bad than they used to be. Although that is one way of kind of looking at things, right? I'm um, apparently feeling kind of cruel today, and I would like to apologize for <laughs> listening right now. Um, no, it's fine. <laughs> no, actually, it's not. But but it's gracious of you to say so. But <laughs> what you are saying is like, look, if you've been leery about buying an AMD card based on some of the issues with graphics port in the past, let it go. Give it a new shot. Give it a fresh shot. Uh, yep. All right. 